Happy birthday, Yuki. Happy birthday. You're officially one years old. Friday um, starting off the vlog here today it's been a while since I've vlogged we are starting to look for a house or townhouse um, so we're starting the process for that and so we've just been looking around we are on the fence between like looking for a pre-existing as well as a pre-con so we're just seeing what's in the market seeing what we like um, we've been to a few already but I didn't really capture much of those ones because i was still trying to like understand what i'm looking for in a place but this time we are going to a few places one today and then three tomorrow but i thought i'd bring you along since a lot of you guys are kind of in the same stage in life so i thought i'd share kind of like what we've been looking at kind of like around the price points what our next plans are i guess like for investing in a home um, because definitely we're looking into a, I guess like a 10 to 15 year home to like slash forever home, depending on what the place is. But yeah, we'll be heading out in a bit since our appointment's at six o'clock and it's more up north. But yeah, I'm excited to go along this journey. It's very stressful if I'm being really honest. Finances, um, figure out what you can afford. You know, right now we own the condo that we live in. Ideally, we would love to keep this place and then rent it out and then buy another home at the same time. That's like the ideal plan. But obviously like houses in the areas that we're looking for are quite expensive. They're like in the high, not high. They're between like 1 million to like 1.6, 1.7, 2 million, depending on like the size of home you want to get. Our price point is definitely not that high. If we want to keep this place, if we, end up finding like a beautiful forever home and it does cost a bit more then for sure we'll sell this place because financially it makes sense it does not make sense for us to be broke sell this place and then buy our forever home and then maybe down the road again we'll reinvest in a condo um, to rent out so excited for this journey excited to share it with you guys we don't know anything so we're always we're just continuously learning but i'm excited to kind of bring you guys on this journey with us so going to get ready now we need to head out pretty soon but yeah i'll show you the first townhouse that we're visiting today okay well we got i'm sorry we gotta put it on <laughs> are you excited to visit okay i want to try to show i don't know if you guys can see in the background probably not the best those are huge mansions like look at that one that one look how big these places are and all we're looking at is a townhouse it's been a long time yes ma'am a lot of water under the bridge some of the old songs yes ma'am just finished viewing the place <laughs> i didn't show as much because it was really really cramped in there and i think they're in the process of like moving or someone's moving or they're buying a lot of stuff so there was a lot of boxes in the place so it felt very like claustrophobic and it just wasn't nicely presented and apparently like from a real estate agent he was saying that the place has actually been on the market for over 60 days as i was saying before i interrupted from a call yeah i think the place wasn't for us but it was good for us to see like the different types of town houses that are out there but yeah this one just wasn't it just because it was very cramped and the layout of the living space was really odd it didn't feel as open as what we were looking for so it's a no-go for us but it was good for us to kind of visit and get an idea of like what we want in a future place 
we have three more places that we're visiting tomorrow there's one that i really really like um because it kind of falls within our budget as well as like location and it has like the it checks off most of the things that i'm looking for so we'll see how that goes tomorrow it's the last place that we're seeing but yeah i'm excited
today is a exciting and scary day because we're actually I guess like you guys would have saw in the vlog that we went to view a couple of places this weekend and we actually found one that we really liked so we're going to put an offer today for it it's scary because like offers now like you put it in on the same day and you hear back on the same day like at night we're really fingers crossing that we get this place uh, we're just kind of combing through a couple more like financial details before we do the offer but it's scary um, we hope we get it but I just want to document this because I think this is our first time going through a process like this for those who know like when we got our condo we got it pre-construction so we didn't have to go through like bidding wars or a, it's a different type of process so this is the first time where we're kind of you know fingers crossing that we get this unit it's never guaranteed so yeah i'm nervous i haven't been able to sleep the past couple of days i got a pimple here like it's been it's been nerve-wracking but exciting at the same time to know that we are in this new chapter in our lives if that makes sense but yeah we're gonna we gotta just wait it out and see and hopefully later tonight around midnight we would have good news to share tomorrow or we'll just be letting you guys know that we didn't get the place so as of now we won't disclose which house we end up deciding to put our bid on just because i want to keep it within us for now just in case but once we do get the place we'll definitely share all our home stuff with you guys uh, and all the ideas that we have in plan for this place how are you feeling Sorry. Okay, wait. Tell us the news. <laughs> Hi guys, wanted to give you a small recap of last night. It's been almost 24 hours since everything happened. So last clip you would have saw, we had allegedly got the place. You know, the realtor told us that we got it. We were super excited. We celebrated for 10 minutes. And then this was probably around like 11.50 when we found out. And then at 11.59, the agent gets back to us saying, oh, actually the seller wants to change the closing date into 30 days versus the 60 days that we put in. And we need the 60 days um, because we need time to sell our condo, do paperwork, and then do the closing for the house. So we were like, no, we need to do the 60 days. And they were like, no, they're very adamant about doing the 30 days because the boyfriend of the daughter voiced his opinion and basically screwed us over. So then because we weren't willing to do the 30 day closing, they decided to go with the other um, person who offered like the second offer. So basically we had the place for 10 minutes verbally and then we lost the place. So it was kind of sad. I think we were more of, we were more angry at the situation because it was like we lost it on a technicality and our agent was in contact with their agent this whole time for like the past week to see like okay is 68 closing okay with the seller and he kept reassuring us that it was fine so even their agent was kind of mad that they kind of threw us under the bus a little bit with the situation because he was trying to help us out to see like if there's any way around it but he was like no the seller's just so adamant about closing in a month and for us it's like we can try but paperwork wise it doesn't even it it literally be impossible so we had to lose out on the place for that reason which sucked but i guess like for us it's like now it just meant that it wasn't meant to be and that we're just gonna keep our eyes out for a new place but yeah we were definitely really tired it was definitely like a roller coaster of like mental exhaustion because you're like going back and forth you're selling what will you're seeing what you're willing to spend on this place, what you think it's worth, fingers crossing it. You know, at the end of the day, there was like at least 15 offers and we were like the last two. So, but yeah, just a little update. I just want to like capture these real moments because when I watch other people go through this, it's like a learning, right? You don't always get what you want. There's always someone that has way more money somehow or a better condition. So, yep, we're just gonna keep our eyes out. You know, it was like a good, lesson learned it was our first time going through this process anyways yep 
it is what it is. I'll continue to document our journey with finding a place. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Just notice that you kill me. Don't know when's the last you saw me.